Hello everyone and welcome to another Feed Army video. 2022 was the last time we would see smart shopping campaigns which was replaced by Performance Max. Ah, the glory years of smart shopping campaigns. Those years are long gone. Or is it? So when you create a Performance Max campaign, what happens is that you create an asset group. And as you can see when we go and preview the ads, we can see that the ads are showing in lots of platforms. YouTube, Gmail, search, it will show the shopping ads and then it will show the text ads afterwards. That's, there we go. We can see it with display, that should be just the images, and then discovery. Now what happens if you don't create an asset group? Let's go and have a look. So this is an account where we don't have an asset group, as you can see, there's nothing in here. And let's go and preview the ads. As we can see now, we only have three sections. So we've got YouTube, which shows the shopping ads. Then we have search ads. And as you can see, text ads are not appearing. So we can go back. Text ads are not appearing. And the same for display. Obviously, it will be just display. So we've got three sections that are only showing the shopping ads. This is actually exactly the same as it would be with smart shopping campaigns. So we can see back here, if we go and look at one with the, all the ad as, assets, we can see that Gmail is added and discovery. And within the search, we see that there are text ads, which does not happen with the shopping ads. Uh, I mean, with the Performance Max campaign without the ad uh, assets. So this demonstrates that actually you can simulate smart shopping campaigns and its automated features without targeting text ads as well. Uh, for me personally, this is working really well. Uh, it's only tested on one account, but it's a short enough test that demonstrates that smart shopping campaigns actually still exist, albeit hidden. So this demonstrates that you can simulate smart shopping campaigns without the smart shopping uh, feature beforehand. So simply create the Performance Max campaign without effectively adding an asset. And this can be simply done by creating a new campaign. So let's go ahead and create one. So when we go and click on the plus icon, new campaign, go through the normal steps, choose Performance Max, Select your account and specific fees if you have multiple countries. I'll just call this test for now. Continue. And now it will ask for, let's say, the budget. You set up your bidding. That's all fine. Uh, let's just target the correct country. And now we go into the section where you can choose your um, ad assets. So instead of completing this, you just continue without adding anything. So just click on next. And then it will check for errors. And as of now, hopefully this will never disappear. You can just click on publish campaigns without uh, Google complaining that there are no ad assets. Of course, it will say add the audience signals. Uh, that is the uh, audiences that you can add. You can just ignore that and just click on publish campaign. And that will then set up the whole campaign um, simulating smart shopping campaigns. So there we go. Here's our test campaign. It is a performance max icon, but it will then still work. As you can see here, this one has no assets and it's working fine. So if we go to the asset group, you can see no assets are added. However, we are getting performance. And we can also see in the asset group, as we've demonstrated in the preview ads, that it is only targeting, targeting three sections that then simulates the smart shopping campaigns as it was before. I hope this video has been helpful and I hope uh, a lot of people can still then use simulate smart shopping campaigns if that is what they want to set up. Thank you for watching this video and till the next time.